Okay, we are on lesson 1.2, and this is page 18. And the purpose of this video is for you to try all the problems and then play the video when you're either in need of a hint or when you're ready to check your answers. If you make any mistakes, please fix them as you're watching the video. Let's read the directions. Geography. The table lists the lowest elevation for several countries. A negative number means the elevation is below sea level, and a positive number means the elevation is above sea level. Compare the lo lowest elevation for each pair of countries, write less than or greater than. So what you do on these is uh, find the country that they're listing in the table. And the one on the left is Argentina, so I'm going to put that number, negative 344 on the left. And the United States is negative 281 on the right. And a lot of kids look at this right away and they think, well, 334 is bigger than 281. And that's true, but if you think about a number line, um, let me just do a tiny little number line right here. If zero is in the middle, uh, our negatives are going this direction to the left. And if you're just counting along, well, it's going to take a while, but eventually you're going to get to 281. And then you have to keep going before you get to 334. And remember, the numbers to the right are greater. So the, the value of negative 281 is actually greater, even though it's a big old negative, it's greater than negative 334. So the symbol is this way, and the sentence is read negative 334 is less than negative 281. The next one, Czech Republic is at 377, and that's positive, and that's being compared to Hungary, which is 249. And these are both positive, so it's not really very difficult. A number in the 300s would be greater than a number in the 200s. And then the third one, Hungary is at positive 249. And uh, Argentina is at negative 344. And while 344 seems like it's bigger than 249, uh, obviously a number in the positives, negative, like, I'm sorry, positive 249 would be greater than any number in the negatives, negative 344. Question 23 asks for which country in the table has the lowest elevation. Lowest means uh, farthest to the left on a number line. And so that's going to be negative. We have three options. We've got negative 344, negative 49, negative 281. And the one that would be farthest to the left on the number line would be Argentina because it's at negative 344. So I'm going to write the name Argentina here. I'm not writing the number because it didn't ask me for the elevation. It asked me for the name of the country. All right, well, if you got those four correct, you're ready to move on. Good job. Let's check out number 24. Now, number 24 looks kind of confusing because we're using variables here. Question 24 reads, there are three numbers, A, B, and C, and then it gives you some clues about what A and B are. A is greater than B, uh, B is greater than C, and then it says describe the locations of the numbers on a number line. And kids typically get stuck on this because they think that they have to know what the value of A and B and C are. But you really don't, and I'll show you why. I'm going to make a little whiteboard here. I'm going to make a number line. And you don't really hardly need any numbers on a number line just to put things in place. Put zero in the middle. And without putting numbers on, I don't really need to. Just go check out those clues. What do we know about A and B? We know that A is greater than B. So let me just put A right here. What do we know about B? Well, if A is greater than B, then B has to be to the left. I hope that makes sense to you. A is going to be greater than B. And then let's go check out the next clue. B is going to be greater than C. I don't need to know what C is, but I do know it's to the left of B. So now that's all the clues. And I don't need to know these numbers because the directions actually say describe the positions of the numbers on a number line. So simply what I'm going to put, I'll type this in in just a minute, is I'm going to say that A is greater than B and B is greater than C. That's all I'm going to write because that describes their positions. So I'll type that in. Make sure you can see a good answer. A is, oh, I'm not going to say it's greater. I'm going to say A is to the right of B and B is to the right of C. That is really all they're asking for there. So sometimes the, the questions seem confusing, but they're easier than they seem. OK, let's go ahead and move on to the hot questions. The hot questions are typically the most challenging, but that's OK. We can handle it. 25 reads, critique reasoning. At 9 AM, the outside temperature was negative 3 degrees Fahrenheit. By noon, the, the temperature was negative 12 degrees Fahrenheit. George said it was getting warmer outside. Is he correct? Well, a lot of people think about temperatures as going up and down. So if I drew like a thermometer number line like this, and if I put a zero right here, where would negative 3 be? Well, it's going to be down 1, 2, 3. It's going to be right here. 
and then the temperature changed to negative 12. That keeps going this way. And while I'm not going to count those lines carefully, it doesn't really matter. It's going to be down here somewhere. Our temperature is not rising. Our temperature is dropping. It says explain. I would say something to the effect of by going from negative 3 to negative 12, it is actually getting colder outside. That is a good enough answer. I kind of like the sketch there, too. That's a good enough answer for question 25. All right, let's go ahead and check out 26 and 27. Twenty-six reads, golf scores represent the number of strokes above or below par. A negative score means that you hit a number below par, while a positive score means you hit a number above par. The winner in golf has the lowest score. This is the most important part right here. The winner in golf has the lowest score. The question reads, during a round of golf, Angela's score was negative 5, and Lisa's score was negative 8. Who won the game? And explain. Well, so what we're looking for here is the lowest score. And if you think about a number line, I'll go ahead and draw a number line here for number... 26. If you think about a number line, I'm going to put 0 right here. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8. Uh, the lower score would be the one that's farthest to the left. The one that's farthest to the left would be negative 8. So the person that got negative 8 is Lisa. Lisa won the game. because negative 8 is less than negative 5. All right, one more, number 27. This, this might be the hardest one, but that's okay. Question 27 says, look for a pattern. Uh, there's several things to do here, and we're going to kind of do one at a time. 27 says, order negative 3, 5, 16, and negative 10 from least to greatest. And then we're going to do something different. I don't think I'm going to even bother reading those directions just yet, because I'm going to do one thing at a time. So the first thing I'm going to do is order those least to greatest. The least number there would be the one that's farthest to the left on the number line. That's going to be negative 10. Then I'm going to have my other negative number, which is negative 3. Then I'm going to have my lowest positive, which is 5. And then I'm going to have my greatest positive, which is 16. So I've done the first sentence. I might even cross it off. That's, that's what I was asked to do there. And then I'm supposed to do a second thing. Maybe I'll put a one right here for my first task, and now I've got a second task. The second sentence reads, then order the same numbers from closest to zero to farthest from zero. We'll go back and look at those numbers again. I kind of have to, well, I guess I can use these right here. Which one of those would be closest to zero? Well, closest would be negative three. It's only three spots away from zero. Then five, that's only five spots away from zero. Then negative 10, because it's 10 spots away from zero then 16, because it's 16 spots away from 0. So I've done the second task. Now the third thing is to compare. It says, describe how your lists are similar. And would this be true if the numbers were, and then it changes the numbers a little bit. So I've got my third task here. It says, describe how they're similar. Um, really, the only thing they have in common would be is that 16 is the last number listed in both cases. There's actually a reason for that. We're going to talk about it here in just a second. Uh, I've done this one right here. And now I've got a fourth task. It says, would this be true if the numbers were, and then it gives you all these numbers here. So let's check this out. If this, if this were the number set, and it did change slightly, if that were the number set, going back up to um, the very first question, what would change? Well, the very first question asked me to list least to greatest, and now least would be negative 16. So if negative 16 were first, that means this thing guy right here would have been a negative. It would have been listed first. And then my third statement is 16 is the last number listed wouldn't be true anymore. So the last question says, would this be true if the numbers were uh, negative 3, 5, negative 16, and negative 10? The answer is no. And it doesn't ask me to explain, but I'm going to anyway. No, because negative 16 would have been listed first. All right, well, we are done with page 18, and we're actually done with uh, lesson 1.2.